TIFU by naming our Wi-Fi router to mess with our neighbors. After my husband got out of the military, he decided to go back to college for a niche degree. The options for this degree left him attending a very conservative Christian college that is somewhat frequently in the news for being well themselves, I guess. That's the background. So we moved to this new conservative city that is basically propped up by the crazy college and moved to an apartment somewhat nearby but far enough away that it shouldn't have been filled with students are ah, the naivety it was. We get internet set up. Scroll past the 500 FBI surveillance van names and thinking we were being clever assholes. Shrouded by the anonymity of an apartment building. Decided on Hail Satan and that's where we fucked up. Surprise. We moved a year or so later. We moved to a house. In the same conservative city. In a neighborhood surrounded by young families and grandparents. We moved our internet over and instantly had the oh shit moment. It's obviously us. The new neighbors. Who are trying to make a good impression? Who else could it possibly be? We don't remember the password and have been locked out from logging in changing the name entirely. There's no way to reset the name without contacting the router company. We are stuck with it for the time being. Sorry neighbors. I promise we're friendly. TLDR anonymously named our Wi-Fi Hail Satan to mess with the cult-like college kids we had as neighbors. We now live next to grandmas and toddlers. The Wi-Fi name is obviously us. Google factory reset insert router make and model here. It's probably on the order of turn the power off. Push and hold a recessed button with a toothpick. And power on. This will reset it to the defaults, including the default password, which you can find by googling for it. Is anyone else super curious what kind of degree would only be available at a very conservative Christian college? I had some neighbors I failed to appreciate, and I knew they were looking for a free internet connection. I had a wireless router I wasn't using. So I named it Free Internet and sat it next to the wall closest to their house. Narrator the router was not connected to the internet. One of our neighbors changed theirs to pick up your dog shit bless their hearts. My phone, which I also hotspot from semi-frequently, is dubious connection, which also airdrops random memes to people as the same name. The main IT guy. I'm kind of IT at this location I guess called me one afternoon and said there is a device on the network connecting as dubious connection. It appears to be an iPhone. I assume that's you. Once my stuff is connected to Wi-Fi, I'm not really looking for new connections. Chances of anyone noticing it over a couple days isn't super high also probably wouldn't know how long it had been there. The real noticeable thing is the strength of the signal. People have always been able to figure out who it is if they were curious. There is a factory reset switch button on 99 of routers. Other than that, how do you like Lynchburg? There's no way to reset the name yeah that's not true. That's not true at all. Collage educated people. Can't reset their router. Change it to Hail Santa. I have both John Wilkes Bluetooth and Vladimir Computin as my Wi-Fi names. I have had it hurts when I pee and get off my LAN as well. It's fun. Own it. Hail Satan. I named mine HAL cause it was constantly screwing up and needing reset. This really is very easily solvable if you put all of 5 minutes effort in. Just reset it.
Maybe you should spend five seconds googling and you will find out that all routers come with a hard reset button on their back side. You need a pin or a needle to hold it down for like 10-15 seconds and it will reset all the settings to default. Then you can log in with the default user password and change your Wi-Fi name. My Wi-Fi name is House Lanister. The router probably has an indented button you can push with a paperclip end to reset it to its software defaults. Not 100 but a lot of them have it. I live in deep red Alabama. Have had Trump loving neighbors from beginning. My Wi-Fi router name is Obama's deep state. Ten years ago when we moved into our first place. A trailer park. Decent trailer park we were 18 and 20. Our Wi-Fi name was Yell Penis for password so. All of our drunk friends would be sitting by the fire and yell penis and whoever knew the password would yell back tickle my nipples. Back then. To us as young dumb kids it was funny. I'm sure the neighbors thought we were on crack though. My hotspot is called Avian CIA Surveillance System. You'll never guess what the password is. I hope you husband's degree isn't in computer engineering because it's child's play to reset the router. The kind of people who are going to be bothered by this are not the kind of people you wanted to be friends with anyways. Most routers have a little tiny reset button somewhere. I don't understand how some people manage to change their Wi-Fi name but don't know something as basic as the reset button. I'm sorry you live in Lynchburg. Someone in my neighborhood named theirs Dick Sandwich. I remember a couple of years ago my dad considered changing our Wi-Fi password to stop watching that or police surveillance as an April Fool's joke for our neighbors. But I don't think he ended up going through with it. Pretty fly for a Wi-Fi is my signature go-to if I have to provision someone's modem while I am at work. Our last two networks have been Wi-Fi faux fum and that's meshed up. A sticker on the router often has the password. Every router on the planet has a factory reset option available if you have physical access to it. And how often do you think that people are viewing Wi-Fi network names? Almost every router has a reset button. Typically, you just straighten out a paperclip and use it to hold down the reset button for 5-15 seconds. Typically, the LEDs will possibly go off. Then come back on in some kind of pattern one after the other. Blinking simultaneously, etc. You'll know. Just release the clip and log in with the default credentials. Google your router model and default. Password. Girls gone wireless. Usually there's a tiny hole you just push with a tack PR paper clip for 10 secs or so. To reset back to factory settings. Usually if you go to 10.0.0. One on your browser. The username is admin and the password is password or something like that. You can Google it. That's the admin to your router. Oh yes. Our dear little niece wanted to name it Hi SA not the asshole around Christmas but she messed that one up. We left it because we thought it was funny. Winking face. There is no way to reset the name without contacting the router company. We are stuck with it for the time being. I empathize. I too find it really hard to make 10 minute phone calls. Good call spending 10 minutes making a Reddit post instead. I'm sorry but finding any famous religious college the only option for a particular degree is very suspect. That makes zero sense. Unless I suppose the goal is some sort of stupid religious degree. Secondly, if either of you had an ounce of competence at all, 
you'd have found out in less than a minute that you can factory reset your router.